You complain when that developer doesn't take the risks by appealing to your small SJW demographic. Irony, projection, describing yourself when you are straw manning your opponent. He's not even accurately describing, quote unquote, the right side. He, he's not accurately portraying his intellectual opponent in this debate, in this argument, in this discussion. He is misrepresenting, he is misrepresenting his opposition. He's misrepresenting their arguments. And he's accusing them of his very own same behavior. He's completely oblivious to it. It's a risk. It's like the MMO scene back in the day. That's what the survival scene is now. I don't know how he makes that connection. It would be suicidal for Unknown Worlds as a company to try to appeal to your demographic again. Sounds racist. Let's keep going. So now they're growing. They're seeing what other demographics are out there. They're trying things out. White and black is not a demographic. Male and female is not a de demographic. Gay and straight is not a demographic. I've been over this before. Demographics are puzzle, survival, exploration, uh, real-time strategy, right? Those are any kind of a demographic for a game. It's basically a genre. That's your demographic. You could be happy them. You could be happy for them. You could say, hey, you guys built a great game for gamers like me. I loved it. Now there's a new demographic you're building a game for, and I hope they like it as much as the game you built for my kind of gamer. That would be mature. Instead, it's a whole lot of wah, wah. You know him, have me toys. Me and white man who smash. Wah, no PLCs. Me and white man. Me game. Me, 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 me. Wah, wah, wah. Really? It's, uh, I mean... Sounds like he's talking about SJWs running around and complaining. Wah, make Superman black. Wah, make Batman black. Wah, make this character black. Eh, make the Queen of England black. Make this character gay. Make this character gay. Wah, make it my way. Instead of creating your own unique original black character, you just blackwash a white character. Instead of creating your own unique, strong, independent white woman, you just gender swap and race swap an existing male character that people already like. Why don't you create your own material? Why don't you create your own media? Why do you have to piggyback franchises? Why are you calling a uh, white man smash demographic crybaby little entitled boys when that's exactly what you are? And this whole tangent that he's going on, I'm not quite sure who he's talking to or who he's addressing because the issues that people have with the game have nothing to do with he's raging about. This guy's fighting a battle with a dragon that doesn't exist. He's Don Quixote. He sees windmills and there's like, there be giants. He, he, I've made this analogy before. I'm reading, I'm, I'm reading this over again to make sure that I'm not just talking out of my ass and it's just as racist to say it out loud as it is to think it in my mind. Could you stop, please? He's getting secondhand embarrassment. He's embarrassed for us. Our behavior that he has assigned to us embarrasses him. His fantasy world embarrasses him. There's a lot of games out there for your kind of gamer. Whoa, sounds a little racist, boy. What you mean, your kind, huh? Your kind ain't welcome here. Your kind of gamer ain't welcome here. This one isn't for you. That's okay. Not everything is for you. There's clearly a lot of people who like Below Zero. Not everyone is an identikit zombie. <laughs> <laughs> the irony. Now, please stop being such petty, petty, petty children and let the people who like Below Zero enjoy it. Instead of making vile, disgusting, disgraceful, parasitic nuisances of yourself, okay? Okay? So, us posts, us expressing, people saying that I don't like Below Zero, that 
ruins his ability to enjoy Below Zero. Me not liking it ruins his ability to enjoy it. And it's not even, I thought he was going to say, making vile, disgusting, disgraceful, and parasitic, like what, comments? No, we, he, oh, read this. If it's not racist, it's insulting, it's inflammatory, it's hostile, it's aggressive, it's against the rules, it's offensive, it's racist. Jeez, how is it 18 hours ago? Another post from him that's getting up on 24 hours of being allowed to be up. How is this allowed? Agent Blue Gatorade responds to a portion of what he said. It's funny how the original post never mentioned race or gender anywhere in his original post, but you did. I fail to see how the criticisms OP mentioned even correlate with being a white male, to be honest. You seem exceedingly butthurt for some reason. Where did he, Where is Harry Dubois talking about a white man? Nowhere. Old Wolf is going off topic. He's talking political and he's inciting drama. Hey, let me let me check something real quick. Why was I banned? Violation of Steam Terms of Services. Check. Numerous previous violations. Well, I doubt he's got previous violations. Inciting drama with off topic and toxic posts. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Aside from that pattern of punishments in, in his in his uh, community history, it seems that Old Wolf is covering all the bases. This is this for getting banned. Bunny Kicker replies to Old Wolf. Oh, really? I haven't played a single game that fits that description. I'm serious. Most games have females, non-human type characters like Banjo Kazooie. Good idea. Good good reference. And allows you to choose. I like how skin tone is so important to you as well, yet you don't think there should be an option for other tones. What a hypocritical and nonsensical perspective. Agent Blue Gatorade adds on to that. As white man myself, as white man myself, I'm proud of the fact that I was able to complete Subnautica by tempering my usual urges to smash and bash everything around me with reckless abandon. Uh, I was typing that way on purpose. I went through a few keyboards, more than a few monitors, but it was well worth it. White man smash. Good thing Subnautica allowed you to attach chainsaws and underwater mini guns to the Cyclops. Otherwise, I might not have made it all the way through. Guys, that's sarcasm done properly. That's how you do it. Casino comes in. For sure. Boatload of projection going on there. I'm not entirely sure what's being projected, but it's definitely there. And he's, um... He, he's agreeing with Ald Wolf's. Uh, he's agreeing with Agent Blue Gatorade's assessment of Ald Wolf. Varlus comes in. How is this racist still allowed to post stuff like this? I agree, Varlus. How is he allowed to still post like that? Vortex, keyboard warrior ramblings. That could very well be the most delirious heap of racist nonsense I've ever read in a social media context. Congratulations, you are so reported. Thank you. I mean, did I in a previous video did not did I not say that that's just this guy is you know this is the most offensive thing that I've ever read on Steam. Pissarro twenty seven. Most players have most players have do that have done that. Me too. And then they give good ratings because it's a Subnautica game and it isn't half bad, but compared to the original, it isn't that good. That's the problem, dear devs. Don't take this stuff too seriously. You did an amazing job with Below Zero, and in my opinion, it's better than the first game. I am having a blast doing weird stuff to kill time while waiting for the ending to unlock. Heck, I even stocked one of the vent gardens with fish and built Leviathan Lookout Base at the World Edge where those big meanies spawn. The caves are amazing too. If you ever make a third Subnautica game, please make it as big as the first, but as full as Below Zero. As in something to do around every corner and something to explore. I'd pay $60 for that. Please keep up the great work. And by the way, this is a this is how you do it. This is how the left this is where we can meet. People on the left and right, people that like the game and people that dislike the game shaking hands in the middle, Arnold and Dylan handshake. This is where we can handshake. 
This guy said nothing about what he enjoyed about the game. He said fucking nothing about me or anyone else that has a problem with the game. This is how it should be. This is how you online.